Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial video, we will learn in the Vinci Scada how to configure the blink or flashing property for the text object. This feature is essential for the operator attention for the critical events like alarms. Let's start by understanding the basics. In WinCC, the blink or flashing property allow an object such as text, shape or indicator to change between the visible and invisible state. This is crucial for alerting the operator to conditions that require immediate attention. Let's look a practical example that based on the client requirement. For example, they need a text uh, object or text over the form. Once somebody press emergency stop button from the field, then the emergency text should display over here, especially with the bling and the color change between red and yellow. So, for example, somebody push the emergency stop button from the field. So, as you can see, the text is blinking and text visible also and the color also is changing between the red and yellow. Let's jump into the configuration steps together. So, WinCC Explorer is open. Then come here in the graphic designer. Then this graphic screen we already developed in our previous tutorial, we'll open it. So now we'll select the static text and we'll place here over the form and we'll change our text like a little emergency stop. So from here in the property effect, global color scheme put it no. Then come in style, in fill pattern, just select the transparent and select the line weight to remove the border. And now come here in the font, font style, I will just put it 20. And I will change this color now in the text font color black to red. So I will align. Okay. So come now. The first step I want to hide this once the normal click and display. No, it should not visible in the normal straight case. So when it should be visible, once the emergency stop button, somebody press from the field. So then I have to put the visibility, first property, visibility, right click, dynamic dialog. Then select the tab and select the POM1 emergency stop tab and select the data boolean. So I want, it should display only once the on one emergency stop tag is true. Otherwise, it should be visibility should be false. That's the first thing. Second thing, now as per my client requirement, I want to change the color between yellow and red and with the flashing capability. So come here in the flashing and here flashing text active. It's normal state is false. Right click, dynamic dialog. Select the dynamic and then select your tag and select the power one emergency stop. Then select the data boolean and double click here. So in this case, the flashing functionality will uh, only will be visible once the this tag value will be the true. Then press OK and save it and run it. So our runtime is open now. So 
I will open the simulator. Now I will turn on input. Suppose, for example, somebody push the emergency stop button from the field and the input is true. So as you can see, now our text also visible and is flashing between the yellow and red color. If I will press it off, so our text will be high. Suppose, for example, our client said that they don't like the yellow color. They just want to flash or blink the color. So they never want yellow color. So come here in the flashing area. So uh, we'll select the flashing text on. So let double click it and transparency just put it 100% and press OK and then save it. So in this case, only the text will be visible with the red color and just it will flash with the red color. So I will turn on the input for example, somebody press, press the button. So as you can see, it's just the uh, flashing with the red color with the invisible street. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video.